We're live. Welcome back, everybody. So, Sorry about everybody's that. waking up. Technical difficulties have been resolved. Everybody got a point of willpower, some of which was immediately spent. <laughs> Mira is making breakfast with whatever may or may not be in the house or possibly going to get stuff in order to make yeah, breakfast. I can acquire stuff. Yes. I, I have access to a car, if nothing else. Mm -hmm. And the perks of waking up at 4 a.m. is if you need to do something before the other people are up, you can. Yep. Mm -hmm. Perks of living in a large city, you can find a place that's open at 4 a.m. Mm. Portland's a large city and you can't, but you're right. In the <laughs> vast majority of normal cities. Portland's a weird city and not just because of, like, Keep the Portland usual. nine to five. <laughs> yes. Uh. Yeah, I I am acquiring stuff and making food. Getting in your uh, car, driving to the gas station, driving through the gas station front door, grabbing what you need and leaving. <laughs> Welcome to Portland. Adele eventually get ow ow motherfuck Jesus Christ this don't, don't um, injure yourself on stream how do I injure don't, myself moving don't this is what well, I'll, 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 tell, I'll tell you how Adele wakes up <laughs> Adele wakes up laying on her back her eyes snap open you feel kind of a weight in your chest a little bit I look at my chest <sighs> Well, I'm alive, so you didn't steal my breath. Good enough. Ugh. Jesus Christ. Don't get away. Just, <laughs> Just don't do it. Don't do it. It's a bad plan. No. Um, <laughs> Worst decision I ever made. <laughs> Yeah, tr uh, trundle on downstairs. What's that smell? Food. That explains why it's foreign to this house. Um, <laughs> I apologize. No, it's 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 quite all right. Um, I definitely made an assumption based on our previous conversations that this would be easier. Oh yes, no, I am not I am not opposed to the idea of food. I just never do it myself because I have those. I point at the menus and the money. That but is yeah. quite reasonable, but they're not open yet. I mean that's why that's not only why, but that's part of why I'm not awake this early normally. <laughs> I've been meaning to pick your brain on a few names. I understand it's my responsibility, but you've been around a little longer than I have. Ever heard of, and well, they're not in my notes anymore for some fucking reason. I'll rattle off the names I know so far of the um, Greenwall Motley. Well, Nightjar and Vic Vic. <clears throat> Nightjar Vic Vic. Commence Adele, ST. <laughs> Adele, you can roll me um, <laughs> intelligence and streetwise minus four. Okay. Ah. That's definitely a thing. Um, so that's a chance die. There's always a chance. Because my intelligence plus my streetwise is exactly four. Hey! Wow, look at that. So you've never met either of them personally. Okay. Um, you know that You've heard the name Nightjar before. 
Um, you know that they're beast seeming, which makes sense since they name themselves after a bird. Mm-hmm. Um, but it was one of those things, kind of an in passing reference by somebody else in the Autumn Court. Okay. Vic Vic is, you wouldn't know them from a hole in the ground, probably. Um, and the name doesn't particularly right. give any clear indication of any personal information, so hard to say. <laughs> Vaguely familiar with the first. I don't know the second at all. It's an entirely new name to me. The only things I've been managing to gather so far is that they're part of the motley we're looking into and may very well be corpless. Okay. Well, as Del goes over and depending on whether Mira has started the coffee maker or not. Um, the coffee is probably not quite done yet, but it's probably going. Yep, she pulls it out anyways and pours okay. the cup as, there, as there's still more just sizzling, dropping down. I will just, like, no comment, slip a napkin under it because she might be fine with breaking it, but I need to use it later. <laughs> Um, what is, well, I've heard, uh, uh, I've, I've heard the first name mentioned, uh, um, nothing personally about them, unfortunately, nothing that will be useful. I intend to poke around a little more, see if there's anything we can actually be determined for certain. Mm -hmm. Um. Yes? Jack, are you making that noise intentionally? And if so, yeah. Mm -hmm. The first time it might have been accidental. The second time, I'm assuming it was intentional. Yep. There is a large black bird pecking at a window. <laughs> I'm going to go outside to take this. Enjoy your breakfast. And I'll Oh no, go... it's fine. I open a window. Oh. Is the one that the bird is yes. at? <laughs> Hello, Drummond. Morning. Drummond. Morning. Lovely to see you. No, it's not. But it's nice of you to pretend. No, no. It is lovely to see you. I don't understand this whole thing, but... This whole thing is on a moratorium for the foreseeable future. Wonderful. How are you? Not bad. It's not as cold here, which is nice for a change. Um... Kind of eyeballs the pair of you. Mm-hmm. Is Phage here? I was supposed to make a report. Um, She's true. unfortunately out at the moment, though she should be back at some point. I... Should I wait or should I just tell you guys? That is up to your preference. Would you like anything? Gestures to the food. Yes. Wouldn't say no to a piece of bread. Mm -hmm. Awesome. (laughs) Yeah. He'll eat it over the next couple minutes mm, while discussing with you. So, um, made the rounds, talked to the boys, talked to the girls, and we had a few murders out canvassing and wasn't wasn't too long. I had to make some some confirmations and and sift through the details a bit. Otherwise, I would have been here probably yesterday afternoon. 
Um, but you know, work hours being what they are. Of course. <clears throat> um, so somebody did see, uh, a Nero get taken, um, in the company of another female. Yes, there was a white van, apparently, and four on two, apparently, even for somebody of Nero's, you know. Abilities. Uh, yeah. Um, abilities. Right, that. And so, yeah. Um... He was, anyway, uh, they followed the van. I've had them looking around for it, and there's unfortunately quite a number of them. Um, but I'll let you know if anything comes up that way. Uh, crows don't read, so that whole, like, number letter thing that you people put on those things, yes. couldn't tell you. Um, Any smells or textures to it? Well, the thing about vehicles is that they mostly all smell the same pretty strongly. Um, and we of the not having arms and hands generally don't go inside them if we can help it. We're fine around them, but not so much interior. Um, but yeah, uh, they drove off kind of west from what I understand. Um, it was like a couple blocks from the other house. I'll, so first I'll describe sort of the area that she would have been headed to for the bus stop, see if that matches yeah, up with their drum and think they were taken. Do you know approximately where, where they, they were kidnapped from? Or no. Sorry. Um. Oh, and sorry. What was Adele asking? That was what. Yeah, that that was what I. One of the things I wanted to know. Where approximately in the city? If he knew where. Yeah. Um. The, when I had him fly me to the to the location, it was uh, right there off Fulton, southbound Fulton. Okay. Um which is about two blocks east of the crack house for you guys. Would that uh, have been in the direction of the bus stop that the hunt had? Uh, if you were, if you were leaving the crack house and headed to a bus stop, you probably would walk that direction. Yeah. yeah Cause uh, what's her name? The woman who was with Nero Tessa. was headed. Tessa. Yeah. Was mm -hmm. headed to, yeah. Yeah. Um, did your, did your friends happen to see and, 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 relay any information on their assailants beyond the number? Uh, four of them. I pulled a couple details. Um, you've got um, a lad and three girls. Um, unfortunately, these are, of course, not my type of birds, so they couldn't tell whether or not of they were humans or not. I'm guessing the latter, given what I've heard kind of, you know, around. Be a moderately safe bet. Uh, but yeah. Um, and, uh, it drove them off kind of south and, and then west seems. Um, so I've got people looking south and then west, uh, and seeing if they can pick up on, on anybody. And yeah. Any details that I should be apprised of that might narrow the search pattern? Uh, Jack, correct me if I'm wrong. We know what neighborhood we suspect they're operating out of, right? Right. 
Yes. Yeah. Uh, you know that they they run they apparently run out around Gwyn's Falls for the most part, which is definitely south and west of the crack house. Right. Mero will. We have some reason to think that they at least east traffic around Gwyn's Falls, and I'll describe where that is. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Cemetery park stream. Yep. Yep. Okay. Uh huh. Well, I can. There's a McDonald's down there, actually. So, yep, I can get some folks down that way. Hmm. Wonderful. Pretending you're in charge of scrounging rights definitely gives you a leg up with some of these guys. Um, but, yeah. He finishes the last swallow of bread. Is, uh, uh, hmm? is there anything that we can offer in terms of recompense? I figure as long as I'm still allowed to camp out on your guy's roof, I the least I can do is make myself available for services needed. Very well. It is appreciated. Um, but if you need anything, Adele, go ahead and give me a wits and empathy. Okay. Uh, wits. Empathy. Normal, not traits. Nope. Okay. Then, uh, yeah, I'll just uh, keep you updated as things transpire. Hmm. Wonderful. Cool. Thanks for the breakfast. I will see y'all later. Have a good morning and flies away. Hmm. You as well. Thank you so much. Now that he's gotten over that pointless thing, we get along so well. Mira, give me a wit. Mira, give me a wits and empathy. <laughs> Drummond was feeling so awkward. <laughs> uh, awkward, suspicious. Um, I need to bump my empathy up at some point, but I'm not going to do it right now. One success. Yeah, Drummond was not comfortable with how calm Adele was. <laughs> you do seem to be better friends these days, but I wouldn't say that Drummond's quite hate over everything. Oh, of course not. This is this is merely the ceasefire in what will be a long, uh, e extended, slowly escalating, and probably ultimately bloody conflict. <laughs> <laughs> Delightful. If we would wait until after after he's he's helped us root out, out these issues, that would also be absolutely lovely. That is the plan. I have I have no desire to start to to continue this war. That said, I'm sure that it will at some point, and then there will be a point where I can I can no longer let things lie and then he'll be mad because i took his eyes and you know it'll it'll go from there cold yeah. war baltimore and <laughs> as mira starts flipping some sausages is um over on the stove top do you think lark will be up soon uh probably um it has, i mean you're the last one to see her. Um, what is our plan for the day, if you're aware? I'm not sure. We had plans. We legitimately had plans. And then a cat thing happened. And I've forgotten what the plans were. Um, I mean, there's you're doing your thing. Um, I 
Yeah, I don't remember at all. We'll, um, we'll discuss it. We might. We, we will probably be be able once everybody gets here. And yes. Of course. I am running a little low on glamour, and I suspect some others might be as well. So, before any major, that's worth factoring in. Mm -hmm. Did we? Did we expect that? Well, no, I suppose we did. Never mind. Um, yeah. All right. Well, I'm. I will. I will be back down. Bit. And I take my, my 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 cup of breakfast, and I go upstairs, <laughs> and I am getting myself properly prepared for the day. Well, you've got your cup of breakfast, but then you also have your carton of breakfast too, right? Uh, that's upstairs. That's oh, okay. The I already had can... <laughs> that. That happened. That was one of those things where it was. Waking up was was a matter of, of three stages of grab, grab further. <laughs> All right, actually made it. <laughs> and then you're conscious once, yeah. Right. Once the nicotine is flowing. Mm -hmm. Um, Liss and Phage, is there anything you guys are wanting to accomplish before eventually hook, getting back together with the rest of the Motley? Mm. Uh, who drives us back? Silk strings. Mm. Okay. I would probably want to talk to her when in the car. Okay. So, yeah. Whenever you guys are ready to go, she'll take you downstairs. Mm. She, too, is smoking. Mm. Gets in the vehicle. Mm. Listen, <laughs> very chipper this entire morning. Just way too chipper. <laughs> okay. So I think you did well, then. Yeah. It went really Good. well. Good, I told you, you I told you I had it. Our peels out. Everybody leans back in their seats. <laughs> ah, so fast. <laughs> Quite. <laughs> so back to your guys' drug den. <laughs> yep. Okay. <laughs> Please, the official name is the crack house. Either way. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. No, it's fun. So you say that as if we had started a conversation, which we never did. No. Hi, I'm Liz. I know. You know, Liz, if you're she's trying kind to of glancing at you in the mirror like you're being the weird one. Yeah. <laughs> Liz, if you're, if you're trying to get a conversation started, you want to provide a topic. Um, what's the things on your neck? What? These? Like? Yeah. What's that? Marks from mm. my former masters. I got some too. I will actually like peel down my shirt a bit so she can see the top of it. Huh. Yep. Yeah. Fuck them. <clears throat> oh shites. <laughs> there's an there's another little <laughs> spike in the RPMs. <laughs> nah, how do you drive so fast? <laughs> Push hard with your foot? <laughs> yeah, but like how do you see but when stuff's coming, because that was really, um, yeah. Uh, Extra eyes fine. helps. Mm. Mm. Yeah, you're at a bit of a disadvantage, Liz. I'm sorry about that. Okay. Also, training. There's a level of skill to being able to, and she drifts left this time, ah. which is worse. <laughs> <Yep>. <laughs> it's not as tight, but you're crossing a lane of traffic. Okay. <laughs> wow. How did you get so good? You learn where the cops hang out. And then you drive everywhere else. And practice. 
and wrecks mm -hmm. and repairs mm -hmm. and a couple more wrecks. Mm -hmm. huh. So where you learn anything, trial and error, learn from your failures, and eventually you don't fail quite as much. Mm -hmm. Cool. And that's that's probably where this ends the conversation. Like, if if Silkstring isn't like offering the conversation, then that's probably where this ends. Trying to engage, I'm just very <laughs> impressed. There's about ten seconds of silence, and then a hand comes back. Smoke? No, so I don't. Wasn't a question. <laughs> she will take one. Yeah. If you don't use it, find somebody who does. <clears throat> okay. Oh, we know plenty of people who do. Liz doesn't have a lighter, so she just stares at it. <laughs> Aww. And then puts it... Beige, can I have my backpack? Uh, sure. I hand the backpack over. I I'm so back. disappointed you failed to make a Fall in Our Stars reference. <laughs> it's a metaphor. I will put it like in the top like pocket where you have like pencils and glasses and electronic like headphones. I'll put it in that top pocket so it's separate. It will get smushed. Okay. And then is it a long drive? You've yeah. got probably about another 10 minutes or so. I will pull out the laptop just oh, okay. See if anything came in. Uh, there is indeed another another email. Yep. Ooh. Ooh you get I, Wi Fi. <laughs> I will press on it. Okay. Yeah. It's not named anything particular at this point. It's just a string of numbers. Mm -hmm. Starts to play. Mm -hmm. All right, look, loves, it's DJ Utzel again, and I don't have a lot of time today. Things are moving, and things are happening, and things are changing, and Gilly God Lover is doing her damn fucking best to keep the ship afloat while the crew is panicking, stuck motionless, and whispering at ghosts in the closet. You all were at the Sawin Festival, for Christ's sakes. Did you learn nothing? Go out, get things done, and if you're frightened to be seen, remember, the dark hours have ever been our friend. Get ye fucking hence, and make yourselves Knights Black Agents. So String sort of adjusts the mirror so she can look at you less. Yeah, I'm just looking at the... The fuck was that? Messages. I close the laptop, stuff it back in the bag. Anybody know who DJ Utzel is? Do you ever hear those? I've heard the name a few times. Apparently they, whoever they are, he or she broadcasts... Uh... <laughs> A, a kind of a changeling talk radio sort of thing. Cool. Yeah, we've we've heard a few. I've heard a few of them. Uh -huh. uh, about like forty something of them at this point. The numbers building up. Yeah. No. I mean, like some people are apparently on the line, and some of us aren't, but. Huh. She sounds nice. Hmm. A little frustrated, but you know. Hmm. Mm -hmm. they, it's different sometimes. That one's. That one's uh, good. There's been a few people other than DJ out selling those messages, yeah. Mm -hmm. huh. Have I actually. I don't think I've had a repeat as far as I know, but I'm really bad at remembering like different names or different voices. Of the voices that you've heard, there have been about eight or nine, probably at the most. Okay, all right. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah. Nope. Oh, cool. Are you like collecting yeah. them, recording them? Um, do they save on the computer? I actually probably don't know how to save things on a computer. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, yeah. I sh I'll have to ask Adele. Yep, yep, 
Well, speaking of Adele. <laughs> ah. Tuck and roll. Thanks. Bye. Um, pile out of the car. Yep. Yep. And it tears off again. All right, out of that car, into another car. Let's get back to the house. Oh, okay. What, what if we just like take a look and make sure that nothing got? I look at I door? look at the door. It's a door. It's closed. It's there. Is there any more keys? Not that you can see. Nope. Doesn't seem to be. Because sometimes I have to go. I think I have to check on the garden. I want to make sure it's not dried out. Liz, but... it's the hedge. Yeah. So I have to tend it. I think our I think our group is waiting for us. Okay. Let's get going. Um, at about ten a.m., I was just gonna send them a text saying ETA question mark. Okay. Uh, honestly, they'll probably be getting that like three minutes out from <laughs> the house. No, it's just, but yeah. <laughs> if they do end up not going back, that's important. Mm -hmm. Yep. Otherwise, yeah. it doesn't matter. No worries. Mm -hmm. So we drive back. Okay. Lark, as you're waking up, there's a knock on your door. Uh, she'll answer it. Sun's out. It's butterfly. Hmm. Ah. Hello, butterfly. I knocked. I I heard you. I answered. Did you find the snakes yet? The what? The snakes. <laughs> The instant rise of alarm in your <laughs> voice was insane. Did you put snakes in my room? No. No. <laughs> and she gets this very sort of like, oh dear God, that is a terrifying idea kind of on her, look on her face. <laughs> Then why did you ask about snakes? Because you need to look for the snakes. Look for the snakes. Find the, find the, find the candles. Snakes, candles, and then whatever happens. What sort of snakes are you talking about? The dead one. She seems like she's back on more solid ground now. Find the snakes, find the candles? Mm-hmm. Candle's almost out. Almost burned out. What happens when the candle goes out? It gets all cold and dark and... And then there's no more candle. Okay. Lurk's gonna go downstairs and try to find Adele. Okay. You leave Butterfly, who is now carving something into the finish of the door frame trim with her thumbnail. Okay. We're just all determined to ruin Adele's private home. Oh, that shit, that kind of shit can be fixed. It's all good. Yep. Uh, I mean, she's probably been up getting ready for a while. She'll probably have just come down. Um, uh, Adele? Yes. How are you feeling? Um, a little confused right now. There's a lot uh, of that going around. Butterfly knocked on my door uh -huh. and said that we need to find the snakes. 
I'm sorry? She said we need to find the snakes and the candles. Oh. And when I asked her which one, she said the dead snake. Um, Adele, didn't you call the people were looking for snakes in the grass when we were planning earlier? I don't specifically remember, but it's possible. It was just last night, but it feels like three weeks ago. Strange how time works. Um, <laughs> Fuck off with your meta jokes. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you're the one who keeps on saying it's October, it's November. So <laughs> that's fair. <laughs> I feel like we're in a bit of a database ranger situation. Um. <laughs> Is there a... Was she able to clarify any further than that? Uh, she, j she said the dead snake. And she said the candle's almost out. Right. Then she started carving something in the door frame. Of course she did. And upstairs I go. Okay. Uh, right about now is probably when texts are being sent and Phage and Liss are showing back up. He's here. No. <laughs> <laughs> Open the door. Hi! Hello, Liss. Phage. Food's in the kitchen. Straight food. <laughs> <laughs> We've already... Oh. <laughs> um... Phage gets about four times what everyone else gets. You know me so well. I try. Hi, how's it been? All right. I think um, Butterfly may have had an interesting night, but Wait. you managed to fulfill your responsibilities? Yeah. And my cat's not, not. I haven't actually seen Casper around. Kay. You could check his food bowl. He said it, you, the, the text that he was okay. What happened? How'd you fix it? I feel like that's Adele's story to tell if she wants to. Oh, okay. Where is Adele in her room? I think Adele may have gone to Lark's room. I wasn't really clear on that part. Okay. I'm, I'm going to head that way, probably trying to find the cat along the way. Okay. Give me a wits and composure then. Hmm. All right. One success. Um, yes, you can find the cat. Casper is wandering up and down the hall, kind of talking to himself. Hi. I'm going to talk to the cat. Just sort of go along this. Hi. See if it responds. Meow. I'm going to pick you up. And I will do so. Okay. Let me. Yeah. Doesn't seem to doesn't seem to mind. I will look very closely at it. So to check. Kind of I assume you're like holding it under holding Casper under his armpits. Yep. Uh -huh. So he's doing the the pause out thing. Yep. Uh-huh. Shoulders hunched. Yep. Mm. Kind of blinks back at you, yawns. 
annoyed cat. All right, let's go find Adele. Was so cool. Adele, I assume you were headed to. Yep. Go, okay. go, go find the loopy one. She is sitting on the floor outside of where Lark usually sleeps. <laughs> Butterfly, hello. How are you this morning, dear? <sighs> Tired. Did you not sleep well? And as I says, I'm just walking and just sort of peeking in it, peeking around to see what was being carved. It should be showing up in the object subfolder of the handouts thing. <laughs> uh, do, 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 do. I have to find the right tab. Or okay. Right browser. I have to find the. I have to find my browser first, then the right browser windows, then the right tab. Jaffert. <laughs> Why do I even make handouts for you guys? <laughs> because we appreciate having notes. That's fair. I, I mean, suppose. I went to go find it. Yep. I had yep, you did. <laughs> All right. That's a thing. Did you not sleep well? I slept. I slept 17. Hmm. Out of 100? No, 17 out of less than that. Hmm. I'm not sure what the scale is, but that's okay. Um, the scale is okay. Right. So, butterfly deer. Um, snakes wear scales. Hmm. Yes, snakes. I was just getting to that. Um, you had mentioned something to, to look about needing to find the dead snakes. Did you find the snake Which yet? Snakes are these, and do you have any idea of where to start? There are lots of dead snakes. You understand? <sighs> there should only be one. Everything's noisy. Can you, can you describe the dead snake? Is the dead snake holes in and it's missing a tooth? Sorry, what was the first part? Missing a tooth and what? Holes in. Holes, holes in it. And did, did the snake have a name? Does the snake have a name, I should say? I don't know names. Names are dumb. Where did you see or learn of the snake? I see. Did you see where the snake was at the time that you saw it? Mm, no. Just dead. Is the snake, perhaps, do you know if it's on this side or the other side? It doesn't matter where it is, just if you find, you, you start with the dead snake and then you get to the candles and then more things happen. And what happens when the candle burns down completely? She doesn't say anything. Give me a wits and composure. One. You see that she has started to use her thumb to now dig something into the trim next to where she's seated. I peek. This is when Liss shows up, more or less. Hi. Oh, hello, Liss. How did things go? Good. It was Wonderful. good. Uh, Mira said that, that, that something was happening with Butterfly. Hi! Go we'll peek Butterfly around. Butterfly is fine. Okay. We were just having a conversation about needing to find, needing to find the dead snake she saw in her head before the candle burns down. 
And we were just about to get to what happens if we d if the candle burns completely down to nothing. We have to go before that happens. I would like to hear Butterfly's perspective on it. All right, and let me finish uploading that handout because no this is all happening very quickly, Sorry. and I can only draw and paint so fast. <laughs> Welcome to every other week with me. Yep. All right, so the two of you now. We'll see this. Da, da, da. Nope. Dude. Oh, All right. There it is. I see the one. I don't see the first engraving. But yeah, you haven't you haven't looked for that yet. Yeah. Cool. You're you're just seeing what she's drawing right now. So if the if the candle burns down, the candle dies. Find Nero. That is probably a good idea. Um, the mess Butterfly, are you hungry? Do you need anything? I need an umbrella. <laughs> Why do you need an umbrella? Because eventually it'll rain and snow. Eventually, yes. I need you to promise me something, though. Hmm? If I get you an umbrella, you cannot open it inside. Okay. I don't have one immediately, but I will get you one. Can it be blue? Sure. Okay. Uh, shall we go downstairs? Yes. Wonderful. Yeah, we have to. We have to. We have I to make pause it very quickly. Check in. Uh, check really quick in large room to make sure that there's nothing in there capable of causing fire. I mean, nothing beyond the normal, like, right. bed and... But yeah, no, if there's no, like... Hard enough, oh, right, any yeah. Room, any <laughs> house in power is capable of starting fire. Right, yeah, but nothing... Nothing imminently with risk. All right. And I walk down to my door, lock the door, and let's go. <laughs> yeah. On the way down, let's remind me, what do we know about Tessa? Um, I was not there that day when we met that group, so I do not remember in out of character. Very yeah, well. the, the people that went to talk to her were uh, Phage and Mira. Do we that went to talk to her, Motley. True, but uh, when we but first the met, down, do we know her singing or kith anything? Uh, both of you can give me because you have both met her in person. Uh -huh. Give me. Uh, just an intelligence and a cult. <laughs> DC 25 best roll, so yay. Uh... Both three. Okay. She carries herself similarly to how you've seen, um, Ew. Mira... And Gale, and Sunset, and any number. She's definitely fairest, okay. but there was a there's a there's a flame like quality to her. Okay, okay. Yep. Well, that's gotta make sure. With three successes, you know, uh, in terms of mechanics, she's a flame siren. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's a little more encouraging because I, I thought it would be. Uh, I thought it might be that simple. Um, did Butterfly say candle or candles? She said both. Mm. Damn it! <laughs> All right. Um, no, nope, I got a I got a message this morning, so we should we should it's in a hurry, I think. Ah, uh, yes, so did we. Come on, let's get everybody he, together he so we did? can talk about this as a group. Yes. Okay. Drummond came yes. by. We're getting along well now. 
Okay. How'd you fix my cat? Do you want to know? Yes. All right, well, I will preface this by saying that it worked. We had some inclination. It, it was... It was strongly suggested to us, or the, the, the possibility was raised, the extreme possibility that was raised, that the photo was being used as a spying device, and I pushed it quicker than it would naturally go on its own power through a paper shredder, and it fixed the eyes. Once the once the photo was was destroyed, well, specifically once the after that we burned it, and once the photo was destroyed, the magic was no longer binding it. I was waiting for you to go. Do you really want to know? Yes, you don't want to know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, everything's fine. Cool. This will not ask any more questions. Okay, wonderful. <laughs> so yeah, get back to the rest of the group. Everybody's downstairs, I assume, in the kitchen. <laughs> because Phage probably does care. She would notice that Mira is a distinctly unremarkable cook. Nothing <laughs> is burned or bad, but it also is like... Directly follow the instructions did exactly as told. <laughs> well... Follow instructions that are sort of ingrained into your brain forever, but just not particularly creative or remarkable. It's just like, I know how to make food. I'm not good at it. Yeah. She's got a lot of debts in medicine and nothing in crafts. <laughs> <laughs> so much is all around, but she is scarfing them down. Yeah. Everybody's in the kitchen then. Yep. Everybody. So, I was just telling Liz, Drummond came by earlier. Went very well. Oh, hey. Yes. Um, was 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 relaying his report. Um, we know approximately where Nero and Tessa were forcibly abducted by four individuals, one man, three women, in a white van. She swallow, swallows her giant mouthful. That sounds like a lot of information to have gotten very quickly. Um, do we know... Yeah, yeah, I'm real glad to have that. Um, where? Uh, Fulton. That's all I remember. I give the full. Yeah. Yeah. Me, as Drummond described it, yeah, southbound on Fulton, yeah. about two blocks from Y'all's crack house. Right. All right. And. Butterfly says we need to find a dead snake with holes in it and a missing tooth before the candle or candles one of the two burn down. Hmm. And once the candles burn down, they're dead. I had an iron tooth. Who? Hmm? Huh? Um, Will has an iron tooth. Will. Will Starkers, if I'm remembering that name right. Mm hmm. Yep. The witch. To the best of our knowledge, Will Starkers isn't dead. You're either not saying anything or muted, Jeremy, but your mouth is moving and yeah, no sound is happening. Hello? There we there go. There we go. Weird. 
to the best of our knowledge, he's not dead, though. Give me a wits and intelligence, everybody from season one. I was about to say, didn't Kalanag have a hole in his chest? Um, what's, an, what's an intelligence? Four. Nothing. So, Adele, it occurs to you first, and Liz shortly after, Kalanag definitely had a snake-like aspect to him. He oh, definitely okay. had a number of holes in him, and he definitely had one of his fangs ripped out. Okay. God. Okay. Yep. Oh, good. Oh. We can finally oh. get on this. <laughs> so, would the other snakes be the rest of the green... Hmm? Rest of Greenwald, probably. He was in their motley or or group cult. Hmm. How do we find them? So we need to find the dead snake. Don't we know where the body is? That was the cemetery, right? No, that's the one you threw back into the hedge. God damn it! <laughs> Uh, in the hedge in the cemetery like that we found it through a hedge gate in one of the cemeteries yeah. uh, one of the parks one of the uh, parks Gwyn Gwynsfall Park was where you were when you found him alright in retrospect negative one points for us <laughs> <laughs> um So yeah. back to All back right, to Green's Fall Park then. Body in the hedge. We should go back there and confirm that it's not where we threw it, which I know will be the case. Um. Um. Well, and the hedge. Do you have some sort of idea what candles means? Oh, the candles uh, almost oh. certainly means our motley mate and Tessa. And, and the third. Hmm. Yeah, e either both of them or one of them. Right. All right. Wow. So we're going to the hedge. We need to have guides and um, fruit and glamour. So we can come back out. Glamour is going to be important. Glamour's fine. Yes. I don't know about you, but I've been running low lately. I don't have much. I don't spend glamour at all. <laughs> I still have like five. Oh my god! <laughs> well, it's I like, have. I have. Save about... it for emergencies, folks. Don't use I it have on random. Four. I got arrested. It was important. <laughs> I have four. However. If we're going to be going in, as many of us as possible should be at decently high to full strength. Remember, all of you have a max of at least 11. Yeah. So even if you have five, you're still running oh, below still half. Yeah. <laughs> Which has been like low this entire time. But it's, you know, it is what it is. I need to start putting you I've, guys in situations where you actually have to use your contracts more often. I've, I, I think I have spent a total of like three glamour this entire yes. game, my, both seasons. Anyway, my contracts let me turn into a different change leg, which is not super useful. You know, except when you have to infiltrate a hostile so, yeah, mind, maybe. Exactly. And F the F main F one F that F I F use, F I don't actually have to spend glamour for because it's part of my. It's part of my. Right. <laughs> you literally, you literally are the catch. No, I burn my glamour on being a Ferris and yeah. getting dice mm -hmm. that yeah. way. Yeah, spending spending glamour for strength rolls is. Yeah, that's that generally where I've spent my glamour. Yeah. Um, Willpower, I go through like <laughs> you, yeah. So you guys spend that like it's going out of style, which I love. Um, I was very, very happy that I'm at three right now. I've saved up that much. 
But yes, let's go. All right. Well, we need to be quick about Remember? this because this is something that we we keep getting on the yeah we should go we should go start investigating that Kalanag thing, and then the club gets raided, or the cat can't. Speaking see, of the club, or, that's tomorrow night, correct? Yes. Looking at the GM for absolute. Uh -huh. right? okay. Yep. We should probably move on this tonight. Yes. Yep. One hundred percent. I mean, it's like ten thirty in the morning, so yeah, you guys have most of the day. <laughs> Wait, is it tonight or tomorrow night? The club is tomorrow night. Right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 We're. Yeah, we should we should spend the day prepping, getting ammunition, glamour, everything we need for a journey into the hedge, and. Yeah, do I know because I wouldn't remember the whole hedge at night is a bad idea thing. Um go ahead and give me just an intelligence and either a cult or survival, whichever you choose. Okay, intelligence should, minus three. Got it. We should we should head Survival's not a minus three. Hmm? Oh, that's right. Wait. Survival's only a minus one. That's great. We should, we should, we should head. <laughs> I still I roll a chance die. <laughs> oh, we're, we are absolute like. Uh, <laughs> no, I'm just waiting for this before. Yeah. He's... Um. Yes. No. We are absolutely going in before nightfall for 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 many reasons. Um. We should go in as soon as possible. All right. Everybody should glamour up, for lack of a better term. And I am going to make a. <laughs> I am going to uh, 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 make a call to Gilly because I feel like should something happen, should something happen while we are in the hedge, somebody should be aware. Of what we're doing, mm -hmm. um, we've we've all got different methods of getting glamour, and we're not all going to work best in a group. So I'm going to go hit some bars. No, oh, yes, we should. Everybody should. Yes, buddy in, system in twos. Nobody goes alone. We know that there's someone walking around kidnapping changelings. No one's going alone. Yes, fruit. I can help wherever, if anyone is concerned about their capabilities on their own, I can help and I can get glamour anywhere. Well, I can go with Phage if if she's going to karaoke bars. That works. Wonderful. Because <laughs> it's 11 a.m. on a Thursday. Those bars are in full swing, <laughs> let me tell you. Right? Karaoke oh. crowd is out in force. <laughs> I don't know what karaoke bars you go to, but <laughs> <laughs> mine are I all mean, in the college district, so that maybe that explains it. Regular bars have people who are there, have the, those really depressing people who are there. They get a lot of despair like when he's open. Coming. Karaoke bars do too. They just only sing Johnny Cash songs. <laughs> and for some reason there's not a KJ around but they're still doing karaoke <laughs> yeah um, so anyway looks at the other two um, if you want to grab Neo or should the three of us go together the three of us can go together that's fine I will probably uh, somewhat split off but I will stay with the nice side I think we will all have to do that. Mm -hmm. We just need to mm -hmm. find somewhere Any... appropriately terrifying. Cool. Want to get fruit before we go. Okay, we can stop by our place. Um, I can I make sure the fruit's actually useful. But we... Liz, we're thinking about trying to get some more glamour. Mm -hmm. Do you have any thoughts about where me, Adele, and you should go? Um... If you don't have a preference, that's fine. Sleeping people? 
Um. Hospital it is. <laughs> I was thinking a homeless shelter might be less suspicious, but all right. Do you have a preferred hospital? A free cl <laughs> We will meet we we will meet at the middle grounds free clinic. Lovely. Go to hospitals. Hmm? You don't like to go to hospitals. Mm, hospitals are are, are are terrifying contraptions of You've grown. Huh? This is good. You've grown. No, no, let me let me be clear. Yes. Hospitals are terrifying yes, conditions. You have ah. where <laughs> you have where there are a off. thousand <laughs> There are a thousand thousand ways I'm for so proud humankind of you and <laughs> to determine that we are something other. And thus make us targets. I know that's that. why I don't go to hospitals. Now, yes, that, they are you're... terrifying places. That's why I want to go to a hospital for glamour. I know. I'm just proud that you're you're able to go there. As huh? long as I'm not the person getting my blood drawn, it's fine. We'll get there. We could practice. I wander off. <laughs> <laughs> we are not getting my blood drawn anywhere near. Liz, you understand why your blood yeah, also Lord. would be risky to have drawn, right? Yes. Okay. Well, I'm going to change and meet up with you guys in a few. Wonderful. All right. Meanwhile, uh, New Fly will actually jump in with uh, Phage and Lark and follow the music crowd to see what, what, what transpires. Um, you guys are headed to a bar. Yep, basically. Yep. All right. Um, what's your anticipated technique? Um, mostly, um, by both convincing and her sheer presence, the sort of Sure, you could have another drink. Sure, you can have something else to eat. Sure, you probably want another one of those. Just kind of pushing people past their limits. Okay. And stoking that the hunger that she is both made of and feeds off of. It's 11.30 on a Thursday. We're going to piano man this shit? Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Lark, what's your strategy? Hmm. Um... She's just going to try to find a good bar with some form of karaoke crowd. Oh, okay. Somewhere where she can pull out a performance? Hmm. Yes. Oh, okay. Um, uh, uh, and let's see. Yeah, that'll be fine. So, uh, Phage, go ahead and give me a... We'll make this one manipulation and persuasion. Sorry, that's something for my subterfuge. Now, because you're not really trying to lie to the people, you're literally just trying to push them in a yeah, direction. Yeah, but that's what the temptation specialty is for, which is a subterfuge tem specialty. Okay, we can go subterfuge with the specialty, sure. Manipulation, hmm. subterfuge, temptation, and I can add my harvest. Uh, yes. Hmm. All right. And willpower, if you want. Hmm. Uh. I'm already rolling four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven dice. Okay. Mm -hmm. Sure, let's make it fourteen. <laughs> oh, <man. laughs> nice. Careful, I want do glamour. Not overload. I have one <laughs> glamour. <Yeah>. And <laughs> what's your max glamour at three weird? At three, lot. I think you're looking at 12. Yeah. Saying, if Let me check. Roll, I get 10 glamour. Hey! <laughs> That's good. 
That was real damn close. That's all I'm gonna say. I am going to make have yeah. have to get you to make <laughs> a was... resolve and composure roll, however, to uh, make sure that you don't get swept up in your own wake. <laughs> right. That's a good chance that I will, but um can I spend a willpower on that one? Yeah. Okay. You need at least three successes with yeah, having gotten 10 glamour off of this, yeah, you need at least three successes. I have one oh, success. No. <laughs> Ouch. Oh, okay. okay. That's the thing that just happened. Yep. So, Phage, you find a bar. You find a bar that reeks of despair, of people desperately trying to drown out the worst aspects of their lives. And you are you are like a match to gunpowder in there. You walk in, sure, you strike up out despair. <laughs> you strike up a conversation with one individual who begins to pour out everything wrong in their life, and you buy them a couple drinks. Nothing extreme, but just enough to push them right past that line where they usually hold themselves with what little remains of self-control they've managed to hold on to over the past 20 years. And then you just move down the bar and do it again and again and again. The first one takes you about five minutes to get the ball rolling. Within the next three people, you've got it down to about 30 seconds. And there's just something about this individual who has walked in with a personality bigger than her own body. And all the walls that they built up to protect themselves from engaging in this just headlong pursuit of alcohol-fueled oblivion have come crashing down. The despair is almost palpable. It coats the tongue in this bar. The bartender himself has one foot in the drunk tank by the time you walk out. Give me a... Actually, we will come back to yours after we do... Uh, after we do Lark's. Lark, you are a couple doors down. Close enough that if anything happens, you know, you're, you guys are still within decent, decent distance of each other. Um, but you're looking for a place where you can perform. There's not much out in the way of active performance here, but the second bar you walk into, you know, you're looking for active karaoke. That would be the ideal. Nothing's running like that right now. But the second bar you walk into, there's an old piano. Right. Nobody's at the stool. And your musical talent is... Decent. You're more of a vocalist, though. So Neofly kind of gives you a look, glances around, trying to read the crowd, and instead of pulling out his guitar like he normally would, sits down at the piano with a sort of experimental kind of, let's see how this goes on his face. You guys have worked together coming up, you know, and, and, and paired up with a, with a number of different performances. So he just starts in on a song that you're very familiar with, one that he feels is going to, to resonate somewhat with the minor but still present crowd of patrons in this area. You can go ahead and give me a presence and expression with any relevant specialties included. And you can spell and spend willpower if you want. Mm -hmm. Okay. Six successes. All right, six glamour for you, which brings you up to how many? Mm -hmm. Um. Let me see. I believe it brings me up to 11. Okay. And your weird is at two right now? Three. Three? Okay, so that's not a full... So that's that's just half. So you barely squeak in under the under the problem, problem number bar. Okay. All right. Um, Phage, I'm going to want you 
to roll stamina and resolve. Okay. Um, with 10. What merits do you have that keep you from getting drunk? Uh, iron stomach, most iron. likely. Uh, iron stamina. Let me see. Do, 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 do. Let me look at the rolls for both of those. Iron, mm. iron stamina prevents me from feeling exhaustion. Um, by you actually don't have anything mechanically that stops you. You'd be looking for toxin resistance if you want to pick yeah. that up at some point. I will. Mm. I will probably actually. Okay. All right. So you're just going to be rolling me a resolve and stamina. Resolve and stamina. Yep. You can add willpower to it if you want. <laughs> and let's make this one regular. Okay. No successes. Wow. Okay. You are rolling deep yourself. You're not drunk in the sense that you've had too much alcohol. You are drunk on just the lack of inhibition. Uh, you're currently at a minus one, an additional minus one uh, to your uh, your kith uh, or your seeming curse. I want to say it is um, where for the ogre. Uh, the ogre's curse is I can't get nine agains on. Um, composure rolls that don't involve wits and composure. Yes. Or I so can't you, get 10 against, rather. Right, you can't get 10 against. Yep. And I, ha and I have um, a minus one die penalty when using composure as a defense trait. Right, so now you're at a minus two die penalty when using composure as a defense trait. Mm. Okay. So anyone, okay. Who, anyone who subtracts my composure from their attack roll just loses nothing because my composure is only two. Right. Mm. Okay. Meanwhile, across town... Mm. Uh, the uh, Baltimore City Total Healthcare Clinic up on West North Avenue is the closest free clinic to where you guys are located. So I assume that's where you're headed. Sure. Okay. How's everybody going to proceed walking into this place? It's fairly full. Hmm. Well, no one's expressed that they need my help, right? No. Uh, Not perhaps, yet. Maybe they did it on the way over. Might, depending on, <coughs> excuse me, depending on what sort of place this is, it might be it might be nice to rely upon your aid in getting past the waiting room. Talking us past the waiting room, but. Outside of that, sure. Let me know if you need me. Okay. So yeah. Uh... Oh, so you guys are trying to get like into the interior workings of the. Plant. I don't need to, but um, if yeah. Adele wants. I mean, uh, Adele is basically trying to get to where he can get to the get get to people who are waiting, like in rooms to be seen or the like. Gotcha. Okay. Um, if there happens to be, I realize this is a free clinic, so perhaps not. But if there happens to be like a children's area, that would be best. I mean, there's definitely a children's area in the waiting room. In the sort of standard waiting room that we can access or in yeah. the like... In the, standard, in the standard sort of like everybody comes in, you check in at the front desk, you sit down in on all these chairs. It's, it's kind of set up almost like a DMV, but there's definitely a little like kind of alcove with toys and stuff for kids. Okay. Um, back in one corner, kind of in a separated delineated but still visible area of the waiting room. Okay. I'll start there. Okay. That's where I'm headed. I don't know about everybody else. Is there anyone napping? Uh, give me a wits and composure. See what you pick up. Mm. I am scoping out people who are sick enough to be miserable but not sick enough to be need to be seen soon and thus have been waiting a long time and will be waiting much longer. Okay. You can definitely pick that up within okay. about 10 minutes of observation. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I was going to say, uh, yeah, let's... Medicine dots to, like, ferret that out. 
Mm-hmm. Yep. Liz, you uh, you find two people um, in located in different areas that seem like they've been waiting long enough that they've dropped off. Cool. I will probably head that way. Okay. Casually. Yep. It's it's a pretty full spot. Um, there's there's a couple scattered empty seats, one of which is next to one of these sleeping people. Okay, yeah, I'll probably go for that one. Okay. Distance. All right, starting with Adele, because this sounds very entertaining to me. Okay, mm-hmm. so here is my goal. I am looking for 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 an appropriate target, by which I mean, or targets. I'm not averse to taking to 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 coming to, to hitting up multiple multiple um, uh, innocent children. Um, but the goal is find find kids who look isolated, lonely, etc., like that. Spend time, you know, befriend them, learn out, learn, you know, in as short amount of time as we have. Um, uh, get just enough information from them, and then be the creepy lady who tells them that X person is going to die, and X and I've seen it, and blah 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 blah. And use the utter terror and panic that comes off of that as my my theme. Okay, go ahead and give me a manipulation and subterfuge then. Okay. Uh, do, 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 do. Manipulation subterfuge. Um... Willpower, if you want it. <laughs> yeah. Um, I almost feel like is it worth it to spend one to? You know what? It's worth it to risk it. Why not? And I am going to, in the process of this, use uh, uh, activate creeping dread. Okay. To make them less resistant to fear. Sure. Let me take a look at Creeping Dread for a minute. Hmm. Page 136. Okay. All right. So to enact Creeping Dread, uh, you'll need to roll Manipulation and Weird mm-hmm. minus one. Hmm. Minus one? Okay. Yeah, he's a toddler. How much resolve does he have? You know. Right? Right? <laughs> <laughs> I'll that, say he has one. <laughs> that's why you choose children. Right, because they're helpless. <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh, Adele. Look, nobody oh, the said glamour we of a were, child. Nobody said we were good people. We're changelings. <laughs> nope. We're broken people. <laughs> by default. God damn it. I'll go oh! after children. I'll go after the sleeping. I'll go after people with as little restraint and That's force them off fine. their limits. Then I will you know. just... It was a risk. Didn't work. Yep. Okay. Um, then yeah, manipulation, subterfuge, and sure, I've got three. I am uh, compared to how I've been the, this entire season. I am rolling in willpower with my massive three. <laughs> um, so I'll spend one for that. Oh, take out weird. I hate you. Fine. <laughs> so you find a little rug rat, curly hair, who's just kind of sitting by himself, running a car yep. into the partition yep. over and over and over. Yep. And you strike up a little conversation with him, you know, about, you know, the sort of things that kids want to talk about, life, existentialism, that kind of thing. Right. Um, and then ever so slowly, you naturally turn the conversation to the point where he glances up at you and you immediately just drop your voice about a half an octave, Mm -hmm. widen your eyes slightly and tell him that 
one of his parents is going to die in a car crash just like that in the next week. Yep. And his jaw drops a little bit and he goes a bit pale and he sets down the car and just sort of scampers over to the other side of the room and starts playing with something a little more stuffed animal-ish. Works for me. I traded a willpower point for a glamour point. I consider that a good trade. Yep. So you've got an extra two glamour off that. Mm -hmm. Yep. Uh, Mira. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, you found some people who are just going to be there for a while. Hmm? What's your strategy? I'm going to start by... And I, I did sort of dress down for this. Okay. Um, like... Not that she normally dresses fancy, but like less fitting clothes, a little more worn um, than they strictly need to be. You know, the things that help a bit with not seeming like an outsider um, any more than uh, a non-white girl in Baltimore is going to seem like an outsider. Um, yeah. Okay. Uh, and she'll just sort of what she wants to do is push them to talk about what's going on and maybe even that they're specifically frustrated about waiting or whatever other frustrations they have in such a way to push them towards apathy, to push them towards not resisting. This is the way it works. You just have to do as well as you can within the system and feed on that um, resignation. Okay. I'm hoping to make a persuasion -y role. I was going to say, no, I, yeah, that's going to be manipulation and persuasion. Hmm. Okay. Manipulation, persuasion, and I'm going to spend a willpower on it because... Okay. Now that's not a huge risk of going over. 14 successes. I realize <laughs> there's always a risk of going over. <laughs> uh, you rolled it as a chance oh, die. I was still rolling a chance die, sorry. That's okay. Give that one another try. Because <laughs> that's absurd. Fuck. Oh. Oh. Unfortunately, it, it doesn't... Me when I try and get glamour. They really do. God. Like that I is, have gotten zero successes on ten dice over the season. Yep. And yeah, you spend some time talking to people, and apathy just doesn't like they're already there. It seems yeah. like you're like I'll push them towards. You can't push somebody up against a wall that hard when they're already leaning their entire weight on it. Okay. Yep. Well, that's better than the alternative. So. Uh -huh. And finally, Liss. Yes. You found a sleeping person. What yep. are you going to try and do? I'm going to try and just see what the dreaming about and see what I can do to uh, manipulate that a little bit. Okay. Um, currently, the person you've sat down next to is not dreaming. They're, they're not in a REM cycle right now. Hmm. You can push them towards that if you want to. Yes. Yeah. Let's let's get that a little bit deeper. Manipulation and empathy. Hmm. Okay. Uh... Oops. Click the thing off. There we go. One success. Okay. Well, you managed to push them into an intensity to dream. You can sculpt as you will. What are you trying to invoke? <laughs> okay. Um, I've seen some stuff. Uh, feeling pretty good. But I have to keep a secret now. Slightly annoyed about that. Um, we're here. We have a thing that we're going to go do. 
kind of anxious about it. Um, there was nothing there. Liss is going to try and invoke a nightmare. Okay. Give me a... Dredge something up and scare him. All right. Aw. Probably... So proud. <laughs> See? Give me a manipulation and expression, then. All right. Uh. Hmm. Can I make an argument for crafts? I want to build a cornfield in their mind full of scarecrows and a maze. Um, in this case, the only thing you could really substitute it for is empathy because okay. crafts is a very physical, tangible, Got making it. something with your hands skill. I would like and to use well, empathy yeah. then. Okay. If I can, because I am better at empathy. This is not great at expression. Clearly. All right. Two successes. All right. So you push in on these fairly ubiquitous type of nerve-wracking scenarios. Mm -hmm. Corn mazes and scarecrows and being chased by something when you can't necessarily clearly see where you're going, where you are, or where it's coming from. Yep. And you definitely give them a good two glamours worth of nightmare for sure. Good. And with you guys slightly more fueled, or in Phage's case, ridiculously more fueled, with supernatural energies before you go investigating the activities of the green wall in Gwyn's Falls, that is where we will close for the evening. Say goodbye, everybody. Bye. Bye.